Hi everybody, so I'd like you to learn how to combine multiple images or scans into one file. It can be a PDF, that might be the easiest, or any other is fine. So uh, it depends on whether you've got a Windows operating system or Mac, or if you've got an iPhone or an iPad or an Android or a Chromebook, and if any device could probably use this little website here, combinedpdf.com. So there's lots of ways, just try to find, go through these and try to find some instructions that work for whatever device or computer you have. If you can already do this skill, that's great. Um, but either way, it's a useful uh, job skill anyway. So it's useful to learn, not just for this class, but other classes and, and jobs and the like. So um, basically, you know, there are, a couple, there are a couple of times I'd like you to do it. So at the end of, um, after you take a test, uh, if you could click here, this is set up as a quiz, and um, you know there'll be one or two questions where it'll ask you to upload stuff. So um, this particular question is asking to upload video notes and textbook homework for all of chapters two and three in this particular course, and you click here. And you find uh, your whatever your PDF file, um, and you upload that there, right? Um, and and, and it, this 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 one is asking for like a, a schedule to upload, right? So and and I'll also have questions where I'll ask you to upload um, pictures of the work that you actually do on the test itself, and and upload those into the test itself. Okay, so um, so just watch out for that, but but please learn this skill, and I'll just give you an idea of what I'm looking for. So here's a student who did uh, uploaded the schedule, so that I could see it. I blocked the name out, but um, you know sh th this this student had a printer, and that's fine. So so they could print out the schedule and check boxes as they got things done. Um, you don't again you don't have to print the schedule you could just have the schedule on your computer and use it that way that's fine but it just kind of helps both me and you keep track of of what you got done and what you might have uh, missed along the way if anything and um, and also you'll see that that the sections are numbered so that's you know 4.1 and that's four point, this is 4.2 and so that's easy for me to read you don't have to use different colored pens that's fine but the neater the better. This is, 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 is this is exceptionally neat homework here, and it's labeled so it's easy for me to read, like three point two textbook homework and all that. So I can read that, and this student has managed to wonderful use the graph paper. So there are times where, like like we'll have a graph paper that will be needed, and you don't have to use the graph paper that I give you. You can use um, any. Um, graph paper uh, that that works for you but try to use some type of grid paper if possible if at all possible um, where was I so so going through this is nice neat homework here the neater the better in math um, the neater you are the less mistakes you'll make um, and and looks like this homework was scanned whereas this the student just took pictures of it. and that's fine because you know what I can read that so if you can take pictures of it with a, with a phone or something, that's fine. But just to get it all into one PDF file like these students have helps me out. And make sure you're labeling it uh, so I can read it, right? Here's another student that used graph paper. That's great. What do we have here? This student is labeling their work. Good, I can read that. And this student is labeling their sections too. I can read that. Okay.